Hey, hey, so sun is rising here. It is a beautiful summer morning and I'm going to drop this in and this is the first part of several trainings on um, money and really on prosperity and abundance and getting these codes in your system, having it land in your system is going to shift you on a cellular level. And once we can get that, that click and that shift, your external reality will reshape itself around it. But it's just taking this in and really being with it. And the first part is understanding the, you know, the core principle of money, the core principle of prosperity is that any money issues that we have aren't really about money, right? That's just where we get to start. I mean, take that in, right? And until you're willing to look at everything in your life and take radical responsibility for all the results that you have, because what is in your world right now is simply a reflection of your self-worth, like what, what you believe you're worthy of and your level of receiving, it is always going to reflect that. That's why I always say like, you know, you'll keep searching for, and I know because I did it, you'll keep searching for the systems, the tools, the things you can do, the, the, you know, the, the marketing, um, all of that, it's great and it works if you're in alignment with what you're calling in, meaning your level of worthiness. Do you do believe you're worthy of having it? And not even really needing it because you're already worthy. And so you're just seeing it now as a preference right? And that's where everything starts to shift. So let me unpack a little bit of this. All the surface stuff, which is great. It won't, it, it won't match up, right? If the, if the vibration is out of alignment. So that's what we're really getting down to. Are you in the frequency of abundance, which is pure appreciation energy and that appreciation energy, when you feel appreciative, you're in the space of, wow, I'm already fulfilled. I'm already worthy. Right? And so when you're in that space, it's like, okay, then you're, then of course you're the vibrational match. Appreciation, gratitude are abundance. So you get to be in micro alignment. You get to be in integrity with all of your patterns, all of your behaviors, the way that you speak, the way that you communicate, all of these things that are operating in money to receive more money have to be in alignment. So again, any money issues or lack of receiving money is simply a reflection of an inability to receive it. So anytime you see lack in your life, lack with feeling like, you know, not enough, right? Not enough to be completely supported taken care of or you you know have a story or perception or program running that you don't have enough right if that's if that's the number one complaint in money which so many of us have oh, it's never enough or I get it and then I run out it's never enough then you're you're vibrating in lack so first thing you get to do is notice that notice that complaint and thank it right? Thank you. Receive it fully. It's not something to say over and over again and not be aware. And it's certainly not something to say, become aware and then judge yourself and suppress it. It's like, oh, wow. Yeah. Now I see like, I'm constantly running this tape of like, I can't afford it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I'm in lack. I'm in, in, oh, thank you. Thank you. Receive that fully, fully. That feedback is a beautiful gift that is literally now ready 
to be open so that you can accept where you're at and be healed finally around this inability to receive. And you no longer will be in a disconnect and a separation from your, from your true divine worth, right? Of course you're worthy. Of course you're a divine light being. That's who you are. That's who we all are. That's why we're here, right? We are not put here in skin from the divine, from God, from universe to suffer and feel like we're in lack and spend our entire lives chasing something that we feel we don't have right now already within us. So the truth is that what is underneath all these stories, right, is I already am completely whole and worthy, right? That That's it. And it actually has nothing to do with your worth. It has to do with your reflections and the beliefs that you took on about your worthiness. So receiving prosperity codes, these, these codes of prosperity starts with self-love. It's the same thing. Right? So what do you want what are you gonna look at? Okay. What are you unconsciously committed to? And that's super easy. So if you've gone through and done some work on the commitment cleanse and understanding what your what your deep beliefs are that were rooted perhaps in childhood or before that and pulling those up, it gets to be super easy. It's really fun. And again, for review, your results show you always what you've been committed to. Whatever you're receiving as your result right now is what you're unconsciously committed to. So it's like, oh, wow, now I see I have had this unconscious commitment to being broke. I've had this unconscious commitment to not having enough. I've had this unconscious commitment to feast or famine or struggle, right? So... This allows you to see what you've been tolerating in your life. And now you get to decide, okay, well, if this is what I've been tolerating and I, and I would desire something different, then you get to take responsibility and say, okay, where am I, what am I vibrating? So if you're vibrating at lack, I never have enough, I can't afford it, I can and this is what you're speaking out to the universe, this is what you're anchoring into your brain over and over again, this is... And then you see, oh, this is coming from this past belief that, you know, growing up, um, that's always what my parents said, that we never had enough. And then you took this on, right? So it's just a reflection. It's just a feedback tool. And when you get to tune into these and look at your life and the results you have right now, then there's also just no excuse. It's not that you're going to go back and say, like, Oh, like my dad taught me this and this happened. Oh, well, right now you get to see, it's like, oh, they're just, they're just stories. And it's not blame and shame and projection stories outside of you that, that keep you still speaking and declaring and and reintegrating this belief into your system. And, And when you are in it, it's actually a chemical addiction to that thought pattern so the thought pattern may be the sacrifice, the suffering, and, and, and living out that very program in, in the behaviors that you engage in every day. So you get to lift it. It's that simple, right? And, and we get to look at it. We get to lift it. And now we can start to rewire your message centers, your DNA, to, to fire new messages, right? It's just there's, there's some misfiring of the wiring. And we're going to rewire. So you get a different result. And you can see from these unconscious commitments that that is the result you're experiencing. And, you know, this is why it's a reflection in my field. See it for what it is without having an attachment or story around it. Simple, easy, breezy. I was committed to this. These are my results. Okay, cool. Now. What is it I am going to be committed to now that actually serves me in feeling abundant, right? It's, it's okay, you know, 
when you no longer want to be reacting to life unconsciously, not even knowing why you're doing 99% of the things that you're doing, because they're just memorized at this point. And even, like I said, in our, in our epigenetic program, so this can go, go back layers and layers. So let's drop in and, and go back and do a little timeline hop and see, and you can bring full presence to it. And, and I always say all healing requires really is full presence and having this depth of understanding will help you see that some of these money beliefs have not even been yours. They, you know, they may not have even been from trauma that happened in your lifetime, yet you still get to own it. And you get to choose to stop that and any underlying frequency that you're carrying around in victimhood or martyrdom, right? You get to liberate yourself and vibration equals vibration. So if you're even in this place of like, I always have to do everything for everybody else and, you know, I never have time for myself. I never have enough, right? I never have enough time for myself. I never have enough money. I am not enough. I'm in lack. I am seeking something outside of myself. When I get the money, then I will be happy. I, I, making money is really hard. I have to work my ass off in order to earn the money. It's all of this, this, these are all showing up and they lower that vibration. So you're listening to my voice. You're hearing this. This in and of itself is raising your frequency. So in this frequency, here's a dose. We're going to get a dose of this medicine into you. We're going to do a visualization now that you're pulling up the vibe and just in the moment receiving this life-changing training, right? Again, it's picking up your vibe, picking up your frequency and you know what it feels like to be in that the highest vibrational light, uh, right? Like I, I'm sharing these codes. I, I received these codes of expansion and I started to feel that I was beaming and I'm beaming right now as I'm speaking this and you're picking up this frequency. So right now, you can just start to go into your mind's eye. You don't have to close your eyes, but you can, but start to go into your, into your mind's eye and just breathe and just tune into your system right now. Tune in, you know, specifically to your nervous system and the part of your nervous system that is responsible for fight or flight, because that is the part of the nervous system that is really just your ego, your overactivated ego which is our great friend. It keeps us out of danger, I always say, but it's this constant spark of operating out of survival. Why? Because we're running on a tape of not enough. So the, the sympathetic nervous system senses that as danger, and that's what keeps us plugged in to this unsafe world with these unsafe, unsettled feelings that we become addicted to. So tune into what is the frequency and vibration of your body right now? So as you tune in, you can start to feel an inner buzzing, humming, pulsing sensation of just your overall body's life force energy or your chi. And you can tune into that. Is it frenetic? Is it off rhythm? Is it disharmonious? Is it, is it just unstable? Is it beady? Or is it just so tune into that and really ask yourself, right? Is as you go deep, what is your current experience with money? What is your current experience with abundance and seeking peace? And why you're seeking something else with a money reflection. Whatever those programs and stories are, tune into what your body is actually feeling around that. What is that frequency and vibration saying? 
right? Go deeper. This is not words. This is not intellect. You're not trying to think this through or figure it out, right? Because we can easily spiritually bypass here by thinking only the good thoughts, right? We all do. Okay. I'm not going to think that I don't have enough money. I'm just going to think that I'm abundant. I'm just going to think that But this isn't about intellect. Like I said, in the beginning, we're getting into the cellular level here, which is embodiment. When you embody it, this is what changes and alters literally the expression of your DNA, the, the, the messages coming from your DNA, sorry, your genetic expression changes, which literally reshapes your life around you. It's always from the inside out. And as you work from here and we change this, this, this vibration, this, this, what, what is humming and buzzing in your system and allow that to come through the heart. And the heart amplifies any frequency. And that's what gets sent to the brain to change the brain chemistry and the brainwave activity. And when your brainwave activity changes, that's what's changing the belief system, the thought system. And that's what you're also opening yourself up to receiving more light because your cells are open. So when we talk about open yourself up to receiving, we are actually talking about physiologically opening your body up out of contraction. You're in contraction because your sympathetic nervous system is in fight or flight and is keeping you in your shell. So tuning in and going deeper than the words and really give yourself the presence and ask, what am I feeling in my body? What am I feeling in my body? And I start to think about these things coming in, tightness in, in my stomach maybe, right? Heaviness in the lungs, burning, in, in, in the shoulders. And now as you start to feel the sensation, tune into your childhood experience from a very young age. What did you start picking up around money? What were the patterns, the programs, the experiences, the thoughts, the ideas? What did you pick up watching your parents, watching your elders, watching your neighbors, people in school, right? For many of us, it's like, you know, rich people are greedy and morally void, um, you know, or poor people are stupid. And I know for me, it was like, uh, I'm, I'm a selfish, bad girl if I like money. And I'm stupid, bad girl if I'm in debt. So it was like, whoa. So of course, what showed up as a reflection for me for many years was feast or famine. Because it's like, well, I couldn't have too much because then I'd be rich and greedy and everybody would hate me and I'd be bad when I couldn't have too little because everybody would think I was stupid. But I was in that pattern because I didn't feel like enough. And it always comes back to that. So acknowledge your core thoughts and identities. What is your relationship to money? Because whatever you are experiencing is just your relationship to this thing. In this case, it's, it's abundance, it's money. So what is your relationship to money based on what you chose to pick up from your parents, from your environment, from your childhood? Just become very aware, acutely aware of what is actually going on in your system. So as it comes up and you feel that, what is the thought, the fear, the norm, the story, or the idea that, that what, what's coming up for you, it, right? Like, oh, it's always got to be hard. There's never enough. So this is just so that you can see what you're actually committed to and what is actually operating right now in your system, what's vibrating. So if this is vibrating right now, then how is it playing out for you? You get to just take a look at the results and you see, okay, this is what I'm committed to. This is what I see when I allow it and sit with it and get soft with myself. This, it, you have this inside of you already. This healing already exists inside of you. Get soft with it. These are the thoughts, ideas, and stories that came up. This is what I witnessed from the people that I learned, that I learned money programs from. How is this showing up in my life? How is it operating in my life? How am I still playing this out? Make a note of it. Not to do anything more than simply witness it. Witness what is really operating in your system because doing all the surface level stuff, again, 
and practicing doesn't align with your deeper beliefs around money if we don't pull those up first, right? So here's what's really operating. So take some time and be with this. See it, maybe journal on it, come back to it, and then bring it back to the core principle. Energy never lies. Vibration will always, always match vibration. So the vibration you're carrying will always create what you want to manifest. So when you're conscious, then you can, you can alter your physiology to vibrate and be the vibrational match for what you want, right? So until you're willing to say, this is what is really here and I can fully be with this, receive it, be present with it, patient with it, soft with it, then nothing is going to change externally because it's all just busy work. It's just to-dos instead of internal presence and healing within yourself of what is actually operating. Oh, and that's when you really think about it intellectually, that's really fun. It's like, oh, I don't, I, get, I actually get to relieve myself of all the busy work. Now the addiction to it is interesting. Catching yourself in the behavior is interesting. Your brain wanting to go to those patterns because they're familiar, but they're actually hard. Where it's like, I get to just go inside and get soft with myself. And even if it's painful, it's still, it, it's like, wow, I, I can just contemplate this. Ah, oh. this is where there's such a disconnect in manifestation, right? You have all your operating systems out of alignment and you know, you may be choosing great thoughts, but you're suppressing the feeling. And at your core, you're not in alignment. And so now you can clearly like realize that whatever you're receiving right now is what you're really in alignment to. And again, it comes back to embodiment. So this, this visualization is about dropping into your system and experiencing what you're embodying right now and then being present with it. And then we're going to decide, okay, well, what is the new belief? And then we get to start anchoring that in and embodying that.